like fashion it's not modest at all let's keep it real it's not modest at all like you can't you know really what? find a lot of stuff even for children like i have nieces and nephews my sisters they're always trying to look for stuff for my niece or my nephews it's very like what the hell's going on <laughs> you it's know like, come on. like it's very like what's the what the hell's going on but it's like but there are some Christian girls or some Christian women. They're like, yo, I I like this, but I still want to feel comfortable and still like I'm being appropriate, right, right. you know? And so it's like, how do you tie that? So you have to run parallel with the world. Like, okay, like I see what they're doing, but I'm let me different. put my spin on it. Yeah. And I have Jesus <laughs> who created no, nothing but everything. Okay. okay, I told you in, in Genesis, he made the first, he was Balenciaga before, he created Balenciaga. Okay, okay. Somebody else. Yeah, bleep, bleep it out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Adam and Eve got it for free. Well, it wasn't really. It wasn't really free because well, sin, sin happened. Because yeah. now we're here. Yeah, having to work. I know. Seven having, days a week. Okay, we the people that's tired. <laughs> All right, it's tiring. I'm so yeah. tired of seeing people with booty cheeks. Yeah. I'm not gonna hold you. It's like there's no kind of like surprise to it because no. everything is out no, of the you open. Saw your boobs. You yeah. Saw your nipples. <laughs> So it's like, what what kind of mystery and surprise and suspense and like right. excitement is there if you just have everything out in the open? Like I've seen some, I'm not, I've seen some believers mm-hmm. who, let me not do the quotes, take that down. I've seen some <laughs> believers dressed and they have the lace top and I see your nipples and I'm just like, so if, I would say, so if Jesus was to come here right now, <laughs> today and saw your titty, would he be happy? Yeah. Would he like? Would he be satisfied? Look, well, well done, my good and faithful servant. Yeah. Would he say that? But I think sometimes that's what I be thinking about. And I remember, Pastor Delina was it Pastor Delina? When the pastor said this before, like, if you don't have peace about it, maybe yeah. you shouldn't do it. Yeah. So if you're putting on a piece of clothing and you are going back and forth, is this too short? Mm-hmm. Is this too long? Maybe you shouldn't wear it because yeah. you asking yourself that question already. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, I love modest dressing, and I feel like that's why. I enjoy what I do in terms of like creating content when it comes to fashion because I kind of want to show, not kind of, I want to show people that you can still be very stylish, mm-hmm. dope fit, and be covered. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. saying dress like a nun, but like. Yeah, you don't have to wear like a like a whole veil and no, all this. but and, he, and even that's in, in style actually to wear like the little scarf. Oh yeah. You know, like the okay. little Whitney Houston bodyguard, but. <laughs> But no, like, and if you feel comfortable, like, I'm not saying you can't be sexy, like, you know, but there's mm-hmm. certain ways that you could be sexy, but be subtle about it. Right. You right. know, like, you could be subtle. Like, you could be like, oh, you know, show a little this, show mm-hmm. a little that, but you gotta show everything. Like, you know one experience I had? <laughs> I was in church, right? It was a mid- it was middle service, and I had an off the show. I know it might be, it's not a big deal for some people, but I was surprised I was getting checked on about this oh off the shoulder off the mm-hmm. shoulder that shirt. happened to me too yeah yeah i think we talked about it off the shoulder shirt choir singing i'm just like oh cool 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 and i just start feeling uncomfortable i'm just like nobody's looking at me weird nobody was looking at me like oh my gosh because no no one but in turn i'm just start feeling uncomfortable my job left the house went to church i'm saying i felt uncomfortable i'm like I'm not feeling comfortable with shit off the shoulder. Yeah. I said, God, what's wrong with the off the shoulder? It's just a shoulder. Like, somebody going nut over a shoulder? That's weird. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Sorry if I'm being real. Right? And then he was like, no. Think about when you're taking clothes off. You're starting off the shoulder. Mm-hmm. You're starting off the, and the, the shoulder comes out. He's like, you're giving an image mm-hmm. of a sexual activity that's about to happen. Mm-hmm. And you don't know who's struggling. Not that you're responsible for everybody's struggle or, or, trigger. or triggers mm-hmm. or being sanctified. That's not your job, but why cause your brother or sister to stumble? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when God told me that, I was just like, oh, because I didn't think much of about off the shoulder. Yeah. When he gave me that vision and that analogy and that like, no, 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 this is what, off the sh- your shoulder, there's nothing wrong with your shoulder, but it is the image that it is creating yeah. in somebody who struggles mind. Yeah. 